Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. Playing more music online. This is your favorite radio station. Hey, everyone, what you guys doing? It's rocking with Hollywood time, where we play the best music around, and Hollywood acts a fool, man. Something you guys don't get to see during the show on YouTube, uh, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. But guess what? I'm actually filming for the YouTube channel right now. Some people's been asking me about what the Rockin' with Hollywood show is about, and we're about to give it to them. I, it's too sad that I can't give all the songs out on uh, YouTube, because even though I have a license, they don't like me playing it. Sad that means I gotta there. be politically correct. You gotta be politically correct, and I'm joined by China Dow. <laughs> She's not on camera. It's too bad. Uh, well, maybe it's not too bad because she break it. Uh, I don't want a broken camera. You know, sad state of affairs, man. It's just like when we were uh, about to go on air. You're talking about stripping to the Black Widow's theme song. Yes. You know, and then the first thing that came to mind for me was, Lord, you made other wives out of clay. Mine, you made us shit. <laughs> so, who do we got over in the Discord? And by the way, guys, uh, every morning, you can uh, actually go to the Discord server. Check us out over there. Whoa! We got T-Spain in the house. Rock and roll, man. There's somebody I haven't seen for a while. Hopefully, you're doing good, my man. Got uh, the birthday girl, Donna, up in there. That is cool. Hopefully, you're getting some nice uh, stuff, nice toys for your chest down there. But, uh, yeah, it's the birthday girl in there. Didn't she say she had a lot of nice new toys or something that they were given? Well, she always gets a new toy on her birthday. Well, you know what? You're all happy today. Why? I can't believe it. You're you're acting all goofy and stuff. <laughs> is well, it because I... you got lucky or something? What happened? Nah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Are you still mad at me because I said, uh, you know, you got bags under your eyes still? Yeah, you tell me how freaking old I look. You look old, man. What's Thanks. wrong with you? How am I supposed to do a pinup with you? You're looking old and stuff. I don't know. Just use one of my old picks. Nah, that ain't fair, man. That's false advertisement. No, it ain't, because I still look that good from the neck down. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to hide your face is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. What's going on? Why are you getting so damn old, man? Stress and no sleep. Stress and no sleep? Yes. You need to freaking light up a big old fatty, man. A nice 420 fatty. And that could put you to sleep right away. No. Why? Because you don't like the feeling. I don't like being paranoid. Well, this is true because, you know what, the last time you know, I got you high and stuff like that, you were worried about the cops calling them fuzz and all, you know, mean names. <laughs> don't go to McDonald's. It's the fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> and I hid under the dashboard on the floor. One of these days, I got to pull that one picture of you in the tattoo shop all blasted and drunk where you're laying on the floor like a dummy. With a bottle of alcohol in my hand. Yeah, you know, she is funny as hell when it comes to alcohol. But when it comes to 420, man, she's just not there. Usually 420 makes people cool. It makes her stupid. It makes me stupid. It does. It's Alcohol it, makes me giddy. It makes laughing. you more stupid than you already are, man. You don't got many brain cells left in that blonde ass head of yours. It's because of too much color. <laughs> too much color. You know, I was telling her, you know what? One of these days, just, you know, go gray fox. Let's see how you look as a silver fox. Hell and she was no. like, no, I don't want to look like a cougar. No. And I'm trying to explain no. to her, no. you know what? You're going to get old, man. What? You know what? Why keep putting it off? Because I can. You, I know you can't look as good as me <laughs> at my age. But, you know, it happens. I got the pepper going on now. You know, you should let it do it. You no. Know? Anyway, if you guys are asking what the pinup is about, uh, we're thinking about doing a uh, charity drive for a fallen firefighters uh, fund. And, uh, you know, if you got a good looking old lady, man, you know, I'll give you some instructions on how to do a photo shoot with her. And we'll get her in the calendar, man. And uh, we're going to sell them calendars and donate to the fallen firefighters because everybody knows I love my firefighters, man. I don't, I'm not going to say that enough. You never do say it enough. Hell yeah, they saved my ass more than once. 
Yeah. A couple times. A few. <laughs> yeah, right? A few dozen. You know, then I'm going to have to go take the calendar over to the fire department and say, hey, here, man, I got you a bunch of TMP. <laughs> I did it for you. you so know, they can blow and go? Yeah. You know what I should do? <laughs> you know what? If I really wanted to be a nice guy. What? I should go and get a bunch of hookers and bring them to the fire station. No. And it'd be all on me. No. What do you mean, no? I think they'd love it. No. Because majority of them over there are very happily married. So, you know, a hooker's there for you to blow and go. No. Don't do it for the guys here in town, really. I see them every day. And they'll have a smile every time they see you, saying, hey, how's your husband? You, you want to come by? No. That's what's going to happen. No. No. You know, Especially I, since one of them graduated high school with our daughter, so no. <laughs> he'd really love that. You know what? He'll say, hey, you know what, Brittany? Your dad is awesome. <laughs> no. You know, and for no. the female firefighters over there, I'll have to get them a freaking male hooker. Male strippers are fun. No, they ain't no fun, man. They ain't getting nothing out of it. I want the firefighters to blow and go. Sometimes you don't need to get anything out of it. It's just the visual effect is good. Tell the firefighters that. Okay. They want to drop their pants. They want to have all kinds of fun. You know what? You women are nasty at strip parties. Why? Because, you know what? I was on Pornhub. Go figure. Yes, go figure. I was on Pornhub, and these bachelor party videos started popping up. And you women sucking off the freaking dancers like it ain't nothing, man. I don't know. You I know don't... what? When men go to a strip thing or a bachelorette party, they ain't all up in men the Men don't go day. to bachelorette parties. Men go to bachelor parties. Whatever. What is wrong with you? You know what? I actually like going to bachelorette parties better, man, because you get the goods. What, the leftovers that the stripper didn't take? No, man, you get there over there and play with all the girlies and stuff like that. You know, I remember one time my kid brother, when he turned 21... Yeah, you guys took him out. Yeah, we took him out, and it was on the strip. It was on Mannheim at that point, and my dad owned that little bar, that little shit bar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I knew a couple ladies of the night, a couple working girls, you know, a couple. I so remember this. <laughs> yes, a couple of them. <laughs> And uh, I brought a working girl in. Mm -hmm. She did her strip tease. Next thing you know, everybody's diving in the muff. I was like, this is beautiful. This is a work of art. You're terrible. How am I terrible? He had a great birthday. I know he did, because he told me all about it after. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> what are you doing to your brother? That's I, I'm introducing him. <laughs> he had a good time with that redhead. You know, the redheads are nasty, dirty people, man. They are like, they're like sex fiends. It's kind of like blondes, but blondes are just stupider. You know, the redheads, man, they just want to get down and dirty. They know what they're talking about. It's it's not, you can have a discussion with a redhead. With blondes, it's like, hello, are you in there? Nothing in there. That's rude. How is that rude? I think I'm talking right here. I don't think so, because I can have a discussion with people. Oh, just, really? Just not political, because I don't know shit. You always forget what you're talking about, because you've got a bunch of air between your ears. Because I like jumping from topic to topic. If you know me well enough, you'll understand, you'll catch on, you'll figure it out. You know what's funny? When you try to have a conversation with your ass, okay? <laughs> I'll go into your work. You know, we're in there, people are talking, blah, blah, blah. All you hear is China Dow's mouth. And, you know, the the person we're talking to, they're trying to talk, and whoop, she's right over them. It's like, what's wrong with you? I've gotten better at it. I don't do it anymore. I oh, actually let them talk now. <laughs> why? Because you're finally, yeah. you know, alert to what you're doing to people? Yeah, because you make me extremely well aware on a daily. Did you hear my thing about last night, man, when you were ordering at the gas station, or not at the gas station, but these, uh deals with uh, the food and stuff you're slow as molasses when i order drive throughs what is with that you know because that's been bugging me <laughs> i don't know because i'm dumb <laughs> i know what everybody wants and then i just sit there <laughs> and then you're wondering why i say redheads are freaking smarter than freaking blonde all right here's me ordering <laughs> at a fast food place what should, which one should we use since i know the it order don't matter <laughs> Can I get two Burrito Supremes? 
and then she keeps waiting. And because I'm trying to wait for him to put it on the screen, it never happens. And then I'm like, "Can I get four cheesy beans?" And I gotta live with this bipolar. <laughs> okay. Reds, are, uh, redheads are a lot smarter than you blondes. That's what I can tell you. And sometimes they taste better too. You know, blondes they usually have that tuna smell and shit. Excuse you? Yes, they do. You, 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 you blondes have smell down there. No, it's a unique smell. <laughs> it's a unique smell. <laughs> it, it's a cross between a rotten swordfish and rotten tuna. No, but a you know a red. Not if you take care of it. You know, a redhead when you open them lakes, it's like. <laughs> the sky opens up, the sun rays come out. Oh, they got sun rays coming out their vaginas, really? Yes. You're terrible. They do. I'm serious. I, terrible. I, I, you know what? I've experienced this. Oh, have you? I've experienced this. Mm. You know, uh, redheads are something, man. They'll kill you, man. It, with sex, oh my God, man. They're also mean people. Really? Yes, they'll cut your throat faster than a blonde will. Rubik's looks like he's a redhead. Rubik wears a dress, okay? <laughs> he is the only male that I have to say wears a dress. Okay, it's a kilt. No, it's a dress, man. I, You know what? I read the definition of that thing. It's a dress. Skirt. It's a skirt. <laughs> it's a skirt. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that just shows. Is it a skirt too. or not? Well, according to the definition, it's a skirt. It's a pleated skirt. A pleated skirt. Yes. Could you imagine walking around in like the 1500s or something like that? Your balls all swinging in the wind and it's nasty stuff. Well, for some, it might be comfy. Well, no sh crap. You got your freaking balls hanging around. Yeah, they like it. Do you think a man should wear a skirt? It's their choice. I don't judge. You don't judge, but do you think a man should wear a skirt with no underwear with their balls hanging all over if the place? If they got nice legs. Oh, if they got nice legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're a leg person. I thought you were, a, you know... A, a, I'm an ass person. You're an ass person. I like butts. Why do you like butts? I need something to grab onto and claw my nails in. Oh, that's <laughs> why you like them. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. I do. What? You know, I used to like boobies, but now you're flat as a board. That's okay. It's like, where'd they go? They, they it's like, what happened? They deflated. They deflated? Mm hmm Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, though. It's all right. I don't mind. You don't mind, huh? <laughs> I don't want to get a black eye. Oh. Now you're, you know what? You're talking crap about Donna. She'll even tell you she gets a black eye. She go jumping or something. She gonna get a black eye. Hey, we got little mama in that plaid red and black. Now she, what are you, channeling freaking uh, Rubik's over there? I'm like, holy cow, that's what they're, That's what Rubik's dress looks like. It does not. Yes, it does. It's red and plaid and whatever the hell it is. It, 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 what are you doing? I don't know. Maybe she likes it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Well, we got a kick-ass song coming up for you guys. I think you're going to like it, man. It is by Bad Wolves, and you were begging me to play this damn song today. So we're going to play that, and then after that, uh, of course, it's two in a row on Rockin' with Hollywood. We got Slipknot. Again, I'm sorry, YouTube uh, watchers. You can't hear the music, but blame them, not me. Your non-stop radio station. While the others are talking, we're already playing the music. This is the radio station with more ears than listeners. Oh, yeah, man. I want to say hi to all my uh, soldiers over in Japan and South Korea. Thanks for uh, passing us around. I hear we're in a lot of barracks right now, and they playing us uh, right now on the radio, man. Some of them, man, I think it's like freaking early morning over there, man. They keep it going, and they schedule it around my show. I love it. That's mm -hmm. awesome stuff, man. And then we got the Netherlands, Sweden, all over Europe's lit up, man. Uh, you know what? I wish I could get them. Go over to YouTube, people. <laughs> help me out over there. Cross-platform. I know it stinks, but come on. Help me out here. 
and I do apologize for uh, the YouTube version of the show. I cannot play uh, the music for you. Uh, but anyway, you know, we got some crazy people in Discord, man. I'm seeing Rubik's posting some, uh, there's some concrete bricks and uh, some titties breaking them, man. Those are huge. I know, I had, to, I had to get out of jail. How do you even play that? That was so distracting. You know, <laughs> how would a man even handle that? You you go down there, next thing you know, she don't like what you're doing, she pops in the head with a boob. Well, Donna could do the same thing, I'm sure. I bet she can. She actually put, uh, she had knocked someone on their ass with hers. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of upset with little mama right now. Uh-oh. I'm kind of upset. Why? Because she's cooking. And after the show, all I get is... You want a turkey club? <laughs> I live in hell. So go to her house. Bye. <laughs> when are you going to go take some cooking lessons? I'm not. <laughs> you know what? You are not a domestic engineer whatsoever. You suck pole, man. Yes, I do suck pole. Well, yeah, you do literally. But, uh, <laughs> you know, what is with that, man? That you can't cook. You can't say, you know what, honey, let's make you a good meal today. No, you won't do that. Nope. You're stingy. Mm, yep. And that's why I put you on punishment all the time, because you're a stingy person. You're selfish. You should be taking care of Hollywood. I'm selfish. Yes. Fucking really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> why am I selfish? Because it's always all about Hollywood. Well, it is all about Hollywood. That's how this world works. It revolves around Hollywood. Nope. We don't go around the sun. It revolves around Hollywood. The, Hollywood is the reason why you have plant life. You have oh. animals. Whatever. Because it revolves around me. What are you out there and procreating I, with the animals? That'd be disgusting. You know what? I. You know what? You've been bringing up that question about if you had more kids. I'm kind of worried <laughs> right now. You know, ever since you brought that up, I'm like. Uh, Are you mommy, going through your mental checklist, you whore, of how many people you've been with? Yes, I am. Yeah. I was like, do I got little Hollywoods running around that I don't know about? I'm like, damn, that would suck. Yeah. Next thing you know, about 10 years, 20 years from now, uh, somebody walks up. Hi, Dad. Who the hell are you? You're my dad. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were there originally. DNA test. That's what I'd be yelling out. DNA. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. That's crazy, man. Cause you, you do. You are a dial a hoe. Uh, you know what I like? You know what dial a hoe, man? I should have like copyrighted that. Too bad somebody already did. I bet they did, man. Uh, dial a hoe. Mm. Uh, you know, but uh, I'm worried now. I have to admit, I'm worried. I was like, she might be onto something here. <laughs> what happens if they show up uh, at the house and they're like? You know what? You got to pay child support. What are you talking about? I'm done paying child support. I'm all up and caught up and all that stuff. I don't have to worry about it. Well, yeah, there was this thing about 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Uh, you let your packer slip. You didn't rat. You know, it better have been more than 15 or 20 years ago. That's all I'm saying. Why? Do you know how many years we've been together? Sometimes it gives me nightmares. But you yes. already did one oops. Prior to us getting, I have a know. problem with oops. Okay, I don't Stop know. Oops and I don't know when to pull out. I, I, that's a problem. You better work on that. It's a personal problem. You work on your pull out method because so far it sucks. Oh, it does. You know, that's the reason why you know we were swinging and stuff. I wouldn't go towards uh, you know, the younger uh, female species because you know I didn't need that. Like... Dad. Yeah, I didn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was worried about doing that one couple because she was young, and you know, I, I, I it's called wrap your rascals. Oh stupid. yeah, but I'm sitting here thinking, you know, are what? you gonna, you too paranoid? They're gonna poke holes in it. That's what I was just gonna say. I was gonna be a little worried about poking holes and stuff like that, and they get Hollywood. So out. you think every woman wants to carry your child? I do, I do. Well, uh, you got that, problems then. <laughs> you know what? They're strong boys, and you know what? You got problems. Uh, no, I think they want Hollywood's kids, and they're gonna try, they're gonna try to trick up Hollywood. You got problems. Now, why would you say that? Dude, you don't do diapers. Why would I do diapers? I'm a man. And so, I can bet you there are many guys on Discord that has changed at least one freaking diaper in their lifetime. Now, not everybody's like Rubik's, okay? A lot of us have our <laughs> balls. My balls are in nobody's purse. And a man's <laughs> job is not to change a dirty, crappy diaper. Okay? If that was the case, then if... <laughs> 
you would have to put one of them break the gra glass deals with uh, the hazmat suit in there, and I, even then I wouldn't do it. Close pin on your nose. That, that is a woman's <laughs> job, and it's always been a woman's job. I don't know why you want to <laughs> give us a job. Is that, that why when, is that why when the kids were young you were always gone? Yeah, no, I just hand them to you. It was easy. Yeah, it was easy for you. Yeah, that, well, you a woman's job. work is never done. You spread your legs. First, we got to raise the kids, then we got to raise the significant other because they act like children. Yes. Because mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you're acting like a child right now. You say, I act like I'm five. Hello? You know, you know what? I have to say, you know, when I get sick and stuff, <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> I am. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Can you get me this? Can you get me that? I want Hollywood. Move. Hollywood. Even when you feel good. You'd be sitting in the studio and all I hear is, hey, can you go get me some tea? <laughs> well, that's your job. Go get your own. You got to be there waiting on Hollywood. What are you going to do when I'm not here? What do you mean when you're when not here? When I go to work? Do you make your kid do it? Yeah, I say, Corey, can you help, help and him I, out? And, and I've heard what he tells you. He still does it because he's a good kid. Uh-huh. What are you going to do when if, if if something happens to me and he not here and you all by yourself? You going to yell out to the empty house to make you a tea? I'm going to say Zena, my dog. She ain't going to make you no freaking tea. I'm going to train her to get me a tea. <laughs> she ain't going to get you no tea. Get up there and roof your ass and get me a tea is what I'm going to say. <laughs> you got to earn your keep in Hollywood's house. But no. why are you women so, you know what? You always try to bring up that feminist crap, man. Uh, you want to say you're all equal and stuff like that until, it ha you know, you got to do some womanly work. Okay, then how come we're It's not? in the Bible. It's in the good book. It's in the Bible that women are supposed to slave over their husbands. It is. Where? It's in the good book. Point it out. You could just go through Leviticus and see that, man, with all the rules you got to follow. <laughs> Do you follow any of those rules? I try to. <laughs> I'm not so good at it, though. No? I'm a sinner. <laughs> I'm a bad one. <laughs> you know, that's why I be begging and stuff when I get upstairs. Oh, you will be. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be, uh, I'll be all over begging. Please let me in, Lord. <laughs> yes, please. Hey, St. Peter. I got 50 bucks here, dude. <laughs> Let me in here. <laughs> You're going to bribe him. I'm going to bribe St. Peter, man. Maybe I'll bring him a hooker. You're fucking terrible. <laughs> I would. I'd bring a hooker. Bring a hooker with me. Give him the St. Peter. Let me go. I don't think it'll work. That's why I said if I bring a couple hookers over to the fire station, they'll take extra care of me. No, they won't. I think they will. Do you know what they do when they get here? I don't know. When you're on the ground? I don't know. I'm always out. They stand there and, and just and look at me and go, he's out. Should we put him on the gurney? <laughs> I said, yeah, and strap his arms down. Why do you do that to Hollywood? Because you always come up swinging. Dude, you punched one in the face. You took a knife out on one paramedic. Yeah, strap you down. Well, that ain't nice of me. <laughs> no, it ain't. <laughs> but you don't know you're doing it. Right. Well, you know, you make me feel bad here, you know? You make me feel a little bad. Now, how come when I'm sick, you don't go get me stuff? Because you're a woman. Deal with it. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. You know, you women, you can have babies. You guys can take pain. Men are wimps. Men are seriously wimps when it comes to the pain threshold of a woman. We can't take it like you. So you got to take care of us. Yeah, because when we're sick, we still have to clean the house, make food, go grocery shopping, do the freaking laundry, you, put away your clothes. You know what? It's been three weeks and I'm finally getting my laundry done now. Yep. And as far as cooking, that's don't what, even go there. That's what our son's for. I can make a good omelet. <laughs> but no, I have to watch little mama over here on Discord freaking doing up the food. And I have a wife over here. You want a turkey club after? What? I got to watch that and I got a turkey club. Then don't eat. You know, did you fail home mech or something? No, actually, I passed with flying colors. Yeah, how the hell did you pass and you don't know how to freaking cook good? Because I can make good pudding and jello and that's mac like, and cheese. <laughs> that's just like your ham on Easter. I almost died. Yeah, well, I already admitted I screwed that up. I'm you not burn it in a crock pot. Don't burn it. It just tasted like crap. I was trying to make it where the house wouldn't burn down. We weren't home all morning. 
My so bad. you put a ham in a crock pot. Yep. Do you know how dry that was? It was very. It was very dry, okay? <laughs> it was nasty dry, and it was burnt. Oops. Who the hell puts a ham in a crock pot? I don't know. Only you would think about that, man. Shit happens. My goodness. Oopsie. Oopsie, my ass. <laughs> I said I'll never do it again. My bad. A uh, little news for you guys right here between uh, me kicking her in the ass. Uh, Duante Wright shooting. They just arrested uh, the police officer, Kim Potter, and charged her with second degree manslaughter. You knew what that was coming. How the hell you don't know what a gun is and what a freaking taser is? I don't know, but it is a woman, okay? Uh, I can see a little bit right there. You know, they are they do get confused and stuff like that because they're women. Uh, anyway, uh, they're expected to charge her with second-degree manslaughter and the death of 20-year-old Dante Wright uh, as civil unrest has persisted for three consecutive nights. It's burning up there in Minnesota right now. You know, you got them little Antifa pricks up there now. Why don't somebody just beat them? Beat the Antifas. I don't know. Beat them down like the dogs they are. Are they afraid of them? Are they afraid of them, are they? I don't are they, know. Are people afraid of Antifa? It's, it seems like freaking... Uh, the media is in love with the pricks, and it was funny, during the press conference, the uh, police chief that resigned uh, from uh, the department, he said, well, the riots, and I guess the press got on to him saying it was a peaceful protest. You know, these people are just nuts, man. And James O'Keefe uh, from Project Veritas just came out and caught CNN saying, yeah, we're propaganda bad state of affairs right there but yeah they did arrest this chick man she ugly too she ugly you know i have to admit our small little town i do one of them burgers i don't care do one of who dude you got a hot ass freaking cop over there man there's a couple that's false advertisement there's a couple of them. you know because you're you're, you're stuck. And, and they're happily married i don't care if they're married you know them freaking crooked suckers that do anything no nope. they would they're crooked Cops are crooked. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're in a you're you're in a bad position because they're a cop, but you want to fuck them. You know what do you do? And you look at them like, damn man, I know you can give a good head, and you sit got to sit there and like, oh man, you got to think, and it's like, what the hell? You know what's wrong with this? Why they got to hire hot cops? I don't know. There's a few that I I I, I glance at. <laughs> Well, there's a few you glance at, but... Actually, I glance more at the firefighters. So you like firefighters better than cops? I, have a, I hope I, so. I have a favorite cop, but I also have a couple favorite, you know... What are you doing talking to a pit? I mean, a cop. I always talk to one of them on a daily when he comes in. He's the Man, sergeant. I should kick your ass out of this house. He likes my coffee. I don't care. I should kick you out of the house, man. He likes my coffee. You're not supposed to get friendly with them. <laughs> It's not like we talk about home situations. I've been asking him because he got injured on the job. And that's my problem how? It's not. I just ask him how he's feeling. Ah, oh, you're being a nice person. I'm very nice because then they just run my plates and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so you're bribing them. <laughs> with, with kindness. Bribing them with kindness. And good coffee. Mm. You know what? I, I heard, and this is just what I heard... Uh, especially with the ones that try to dress up in MC stuff and try to be a big motorcycle club guy, that they're not too good in bed. That's what I've heard from women. Who, cops? Yes, I heard that from women. Wouldn't know. You know, they want to be the bad have, boy, but, you have know. I've never gone there. Wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, bull, you know what? You ask every damn thing on the face of the earth. You know damn well you have. With a cop? Yes. No. No, I'm talking about their wives. What about them? I hear that the cops are not a good lay. I wouldn't know. I don't know any of the cops' wives over here. They don't bring their wives what in. What good are you on intelligence? They don't bring their wives in. They come in when they're on duty. Half the time, they don't even come in when they're off duty. Well, anyway, you know, dumb blonde aside. Why would I ask? I oh, excuse me, is your husband good in the sack? <laughs> Awkward. I go out and ask that kind of stuff. I do it all the time. So you're going to go af ask Officer Sanchez's husband if she's good in the sack? Why not? 
Oh, you're weird. It's just a good question. You're weird. I, you know what? I go and call him Barney Fives in front of him. And, That's and, in Roscoe, not here in our town. I don't care, <laughs> man. You know, I wasn't too good to her. She was a female police chief. Not too good. <laughs> no, you were mean. I was mean. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> you were very mean to her. You Barney Five mother. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the look on their face? Yeah, they their jaws dropped. They're not used to dealing with a Chicago kid, I guess. <laughs> and that was only like two months after being here, wasn't it? Oh, man. That's when I had that hardcore accent of mine still. And it's kind of worked its way out. Not really. You don't think it's worked its way out? No. <laughs> Mm-mm. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was doing better right. with the accent. All right. Say pencil. Pencil. Say pen. Pen. <laughs> pen. <laughs> Man, shut up. Pencil. <laughs> what the hell? Who <laughs> taught you the English language? Uh, you know what? At least I can admit I am not good with the English language. I suck at it. And then those crazy Canadians, when I'm doing the biker news, they have to throw that French stuff at me, man. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> you know what makes me giggle? Looking in the mirror? No, fuck off. Jerk. No. No, when I listen to Donna, all of a sudden you'll hear her talk, and then you'll hear, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they do that a lot in Canada. They also do that in Aussie, but they use, hey, mate. I was like, mate? What's a mate? <laughs> Us Americans must be stupid, man. I like listening to her talk because then she always ends it, and you know, and I don't think she notices it because she just does it. It's just like, you know what I mean, eh? <laughs> hey, where awesome. you at at making your own studio? You know what? We're making her own studio. That way, you don't have get... to look at your ugly mug. Yes, exactly. Mm. You don't have to be in here with me. No. And you'll be by yourself in your own studio. Yeah. We're gonna have it hooked up to you. You know, we're being pretty good at this system stuff, hooking up all the radio stuff. Yeah. That way, you can be in there. I can be in my peace and quiet. Cause you know what? Quite actually, I'm getting sick of you invite. You know, invading my privacy in here. Oh, invading your privacy? I okay. can't even jerk off in freaking private anymore you always have to worry about the door flying open man you got my pecker in my hand like what are you doing what like, do you think I'm doing? like i haven't walked in on that before <laughs> you break. can't even jack off in private it happens in your own studio neither can i you know what in my own room well you know you have to get your own studio and you know what i won't go in there you won't go here okay game on Game on. Anyway, it's not my time by three doors down. I'll be right back, guys, with uh, some more fun. Trail is an in-depth look at the trials and tribulations of street gang and motorcycle club life. This isn't the run-of-the-mill book that doesn't give the goods. This book will go into detail of events that actually happened. All materials in this book have been approved by those involved. There is nothing poetic. Nor is there any price worth paying for the life we choose to live on the streets. James Hollywood Machikari, Brotherhood and Betrayal. Oh yeah, don't forget to get your copy of Brotherhood and Betrayal, man. It's over on Amazon and all online major book retailers. And on the 16th, hopefully we'll have our stock in there. and We'll get you some signed copies and all that type of stuff. Ready to go out. That's Friday. That's Friday, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. You know how to count. Anyway, you know what? I always had a question for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's your favorite pair of underwear? None. Oh, don't give me none. You have a favorite pair of underwear. You know you got holes in that sucker that's been around forever. You got them freaking streaks and all that stuff going You're on. You're fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? I know you got a favorite pair. I do. What is it? They're lacy. It's a lacy pair of thongs. Are those pink? No. What color are they? Black. Oh. <laughs> Black lacy thongs. And by the way, guys, Pound Anti-Viper League, you guys got to join us in our new revolution of taking your balls back. 
too many men have their balls in a woman's purse. I still can't get over you admitted yours used to be in mine. I don't know when that happened, because they must have been really small. I thought I just had spare change. I know, man. You know, they're little dinging around in there and stuff like that. Just saying. You know, you got, uh, you know, you got Donna out there, my Canadian princess, leading the way for, uh... You know, pussy control. Pussy control. Mm -hmm. Pussy control. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it's funny, man. You women, they all stick together, man. You know, you're vipers. You know, <laughs> vipers that, you know, studied uh, the Jedi mind trick. And you guys use it against men all the time. It's terrible. Does it work? It don't work on me, man. See, that's Yes, it does. No, it yes, does it not. Does. Okay, when? Yesterday. Yesterday when? You gave in. I'm off punishment. I didn't give in. I was just freaking I wanted to pop one. I'm off punishment. <laughs> That's when I said, you know what? Screw my truck. <laughs> <laughs> you flat out said, screw the truck. Right. I've gone too long. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, where's your favorite uh, spot to be kissed? I'm just wondering. I'm asking a couple questions just off the hip. There's a few. Where? There's a few. Well, tell us. Tell us. I think I've already released this information a few times. <laughs> Why do you want to know? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Because that way, you know, next time you, you know, you're sleeping and stuff, I can have Xena, I'll direct her. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> you're sick. You know, one question I never uh, asked you. Oh, shit. What was your oh. first impression of me? Oh, no, he kind of scared me the first day. You know what? You're an asshole, man. Not like because you're scary you're looking. You're, I didn't. You're an asshole. Well, you didn't have as many tattoos, that's for sure. Oh, no. Now Neither I'm, did I. I'm filled with them now, man. I had one. <laughs> uh -huh. I didn't know what to think. Right. Because <laughs> I, I didn't like some of the ones that some of the guys you were hanging around with when I first met you. It happens, you know. I didn't happens. like the fact that you had to have a competition on who could get with me first, though. Well, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, men have friendly competitions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially since the ones you had the competition with, I would never have given them the time of day. You know what? Women are a sport to men. Oh, we're they, a sport You're now. a sport. Cool. You don't like me, me, no, you know, it's like men, you don't want to, they want to bust their egos and stuff like that. And they want to see who can score first. You know, that's why it's called score. And that's why, you know, when we talk about sex, it's first base, second base, third base, home. Mm. It's a sport. Mm. It's a sport. It's a sport. Well, I like my sport. It's called soccer. Piss me off, kick you in the balls. Ooh, ouch. Mm. You are a viper. Or step on them. What the hell is wrong with you guys? You always want to hit the balls, man. Don't Dude, you know? Do you not realize that you hit us in the cooch? It hurts just as bad as getting hit in the balls. No, it does not. All you have to do is nick the balls when we're on the ground. <laughs> you just breeze by them. Just breeze by and I'm on the ground like, oh, oh, oh. You know what the hell's wrong with you people? It hurts just as bad for us getting kicked there. No, it does not. Because you're freaking <laughs> most yeah. women are so freaking wide the foot disappears. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> I don't have that problem. <laughs> but most women do. Not most. You try kicking them. In, where's my foot at? <laughs> I, mean, I lost, lost it. You lost your shoe. <laughs> the foot came out. The shoe's gone. Exactly. I hate when that happens. So do I, man. So if I just graze the nutsack, it's going to hurt? Just grazing it, I'm on the ground for 15 minutes. <laughs> huh. Good to know. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> punch you right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you will actually be seen floating in the Rock River right about there. <laughs> Nothing, you just missed a whiteboard. Oh, a whiteboard. Oh, yeah, that's right. They got whiteboards over in Discord and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when you know what? When we get your studio finished, we'll have your own camera in there and the whole nine yards. You'll be all happy, and I'll be really happy. <laughs> so will I. You know, because like today, you know, we're doing the Rockin' with Hollywood show. Usually, it's all red lights in here, dark as hell. I'm having a good time, and then you show up. You're off. 
I said if you wanted me in here, I'd come in here. But if you didn't want me in here, I would be more than inclined to just go in my room. No, you wouldn't. No, because you get pissed off at me with your bipolar crap when I don't bring you on the show. I'd still be on. I'd just not be talking. Uh huh. You'd be pissed. Why didn't you let me on? I, I know why. We always do that. I'd just be doing like I do when I'm at work and making facial expressions and flipping you off. Well, it happens. <laughs> you know, it happens. I get it. I get it. It I get happens. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. So, uh, China Dow about 8.30 is going to be going into the general chat today mm. and chatting away with everybody. Mm. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good time with her over there and stuff like that. Uh, she is fun to talk to when she's not in her bipolar crap. Uh, you know what? You don't have to. Don't ever. Even talking about grazing the balls hurts, man. <laughs> now I'm going to be thinking about that. <laughs> You got me thinking if I got other kids out there now. What are you doing that Jedi mind stuff, man? I got to make sure I know how to defend against that with you. Mm-hmm. Those eyes are piercing, I know. Mm. So, mm. anyway, guys, uh, that's the show for today. I'm going to see how it turns out uh, with uh, on YouTube and stuff like that. If I like it, we'll put them on there as well because, uh, you know... Different platforms, man. Anyway, you've been listening to us on WMMRDB Rockford. You guys have a kick-ass time out there. I'm going to turn you over to Auto DJ. I'll see you in the morning, man. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Just like she kicks you in the fucking nuts, this broad. Unreal. Unbelievable.